I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm a little dehydrated. So, see how shaky I am. But, I don't even remember what the heck I was saying. Um, so I found this nice stream that's flowing right behind me, but we can't drink out of that. We only got this plastic bottle. And I've already told y'all not to carry plastic bottles, but here I am. It happens. Um, I could boil water directly in here. I don't want to do that. I actually like this bottle. I could dig a sip well, but you've already seen that too. Um, if you haven't seen either of those two videos, I'm going to provide the link in the description to this video. So I'm going to do something else that does work. So this stream's low enough. I'm going to dig down so the water seeps in. And I'm going to boil the water in the hole. Another thing that works too is if you're in an area that's got a lot of clay in the soil, <clears throat> dig down about 10 inches, 12 inches, however, make a pit. Light you a really strong hot fire in there. I'll let it burn down. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a thin layer of um, baked clay. And you can fill that hole up with water. So, I got myself a fire. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take rocks and put it in here. I let them get really hot. I'm going to take a pair of sticks. I'm going to put them in the water over here, and I'm going to keep doing that back and forth until that water starts boiling. Now, something you're definitely going to want to be careful of when you're putting all these rocks in here is to make sure that they didn't come from super close to a stream or um, that they've been wet or even worse, underwater. Because if they have so much moisture trapped inside, there's a potential that they can actually explode. And that can cause you some serious harm because exploding rocks ain't no joke. Look it up. So now you're just going to want to add a couple sticks. You're going to fish the rocks out. And you're going to carefully carry them over and drop them in the water. After doing it for a while, that water is scorching hot. Don't worry about all the particulates and stuff in there. They ain't going to hurt you. Whew. So, now you got safe water. I've got safe water. Just needs to cool down a little bit. So that's how you can boil water in the ground with hot rocks. And you can do the same thing with any, other, any kind of container that you can't light a fire underneath. It doesn't matter if it's in a clam shell, turtle shell, or in a cavity of a rock on a mountainside. If it can hold water, you can rock boil in it. Just remember to be cautious about the type of rocks that you use in your fire, because some of them can explode. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't already, hit that bell dingling icon down below. You'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in my next one.